Hello and welcome to Infinity. I'm going to do now a form of editing in which you create, first of all, a jigsaw of perfectly matched pieces across the whole image, which are held as selections. And then you just simply use those to direct the adjustments that you make to the image. So we're going to start off, go to the selection brush tool here, Make sure I've got snap to edges on and then I can just paint up here and go around the edges. And get to that, that'll do. Then I will go to refine. with the brush paint around the edges here, do it in pieces. And let's complete this here. I can do this fairly quickly because I'm just showing the technique here. Normally I'd spend a lot more time just checking all the hairs and everything on this. I need to go to the uh, background, isn't it, and see a bit of this grass. Sometimes you just need to give it a little bit more direction and a bit of foreground, saying this is a path here, and so on. That's enough. So I've got that. I apply that. I've got that selection. If, the, if I can see any bits, I think, no, oh, I do need to edit that. I can always go to here. Uh, take the snap to edges off the moment and as a subtract paint over the edges here to just going I can see that's clearly not needed okay so now I go to the channels tab here go down to the pixel selection at the bottom right click that and say create spare channel then where they've got the spare channel there right click that rename that call that path There we go. So now I've got that selection saved. So Control D, don't need it anymore. Then I can do other selections by different means. So let's the flowers here. I'm going to go to the flood select tool. Click on the flower there. Check how the other flowers are reasonably selected. And I can see something up here. I don't want that up there. So go to the selection brush and paint that out. And everything else is okay. Um, what are those things up there? Take those out. No, Control Z. Those can stay in. Those are flowers. And so I'm just going to save those. Right click in the pixel selection. Create spare channel. Right click the spare channel. Rename that as flowers. And say okay for that. Control zero. And I'm just going to pause for a moment because I'm going to go by myself over and just select this here and the building here so you don't need to see all of that so back in a moment so now we've got the path flowers truck and building selected and you can always look at these by just clicking on each one in turn and click on the pixel layer to see that and then to see the the selection to get a selection of everything else now I want to do a select and select all and then they're going to subtract these others. And so right click on one and subtract from pixel selection. And right click and subtract. Right click and subtract. Right click and subtract. So now I've got just the grass selected. So I now right click pixel selection and create spare channel. Right click that. Rename that as grass. And then Control D to deselect. And now I've got it all neatly to, uh, set together here so they'll all fit together like a jigsaw. You can do an awful lot more with this, but this is just to show the principle. So then, what should we do with this? Well, let's start. Let's lighten up this path. And a way to do that is I'm going to go to a layer and new fill layer here. So it's white on top. 
but then I'll just take the path here, right click there and say load to fill alpha, and here you go, it's on top there, but I need to do something a bit more with that, so I'll go to normal and down to soft light blend mode to give this a bit more lightness, turn it down a little bit to make it a bit more natural, and now it leads the eye more strongly through this. Then, and I'll just call that the path. Now then, what shall I do next? Well, let's just do it in sequence. Actually, it doesn't matter too much because they're all separately selected. So flowers, I'll just do a little boost to that. Let's turn the saturation up on that. So I'll do it with, with just a vibrant saturation here. So I will turn up the saturation. But I don't want that to apply just to the flowers. Right click the flowers and say load to vibrance adjustment there. Now I'm doing just the saturation of the flowers. Small and subtle, but it can make a little bit of distance difference. Okay. Next, let's just call that flowers so we can see what we're doing. Uh, then the truck. Then we'll just boost the reds in that. So I'll do another HSL here. Oops. And HSL. And I will select the reds here and turn up the saturation. But I'll then, for the truck, right click there and load to HSL Shift Adjustment Alpha. So now I'm doing GS that truck there, maybe turn down the luminosity a bit, just to make it a bit more realistic. And call it on truck. The building, what shall I do to that? Um, let's have a look at it. Maybe let's just sharpen it a bit, because you can do pretty much whatever you like with these. You can do multiple adjustments, of course. So I'll do an unsharp mask and just turn up the radius to around about one and then pull up the factor to make that just stand out a bit more strongly like this. And then always the building, right click and apply to load unsharp mask building. So call that building. And what was left here was the grass, wasn't it? So the grass, I'll do that with the curves. Go to curves, right click the grass and load to that. So I'm just going to apply to this. Then go to master, let's just say green and then pull this one up a bit. Just to give that little bit of boost just to the green of the grass. And there we go. We've edited separately all these just with simple adjustments here no other pixel layers, so it actually is quite efficient in terms of this. If I select all those, you can see before and after, before and after. There we go, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.